Now we're going to look at the random glossary entry block. Now for this random glossary entry, you do have to have a glossary created in your Moodle course room. And you'll notice what I'm pointing to right now is I have a glossary called quote of the day already created. And you get to that by going to add an activity glossary. So I've created one and I've hidden it. Notice the eye is closed. So I've hidden it. Students cannot see it on their Moodle page. So the only place they're going to see it is in the block over to the side. And it works like this. Click the add a drop down menu, select random glossary entry. And then it says, please configure this block using the edit icon. So I will click on the edit icon above. And here it says, configuring a random glossary entry block. What is the title you want on your glossary entry? Well, I don't want mine to have a title. So I'm going to clear that out, but you could list type quote of the day or whatever your glossary might be. The next section is what glossary will you be taking these items from? Well, I only have one glossary, the quote of the day, but if I had more, they would all be listed here for me to choose from. You have entries such as days before a new entry is chosen, zero for me, I don't care, let them see new entries every day. How a new entry is chosen, it can be random, last modified or next, mine's going to be random. Do I want to show the concept or the heading for each entry? And I'm going to say no, I really don't. When users can add entries to the glossary, show a link with this text. Now, I don't want my users to add their own entries, so I am going to take this out. When users can view the glossary but not add entries, show a link with this text. More quotes. Well, I don't, I don't want them to see them in advance. We'll just let them see them one at a time. When users cannot edit or view the glossary, show this text to be continued but I'm going to take that out as well. I don't want any of these statements on mine. Where the block appears, and you then I can say I want it on the course main page, on any page, or any course page. I only want it on my course main page. I don't want them to see it everywhere else. Default it to the right or the left, and default weight. This means about where in the lineup. I want it to be first. Where's number one? I want it to be first. Okay, visible, yes, region right, weight three. Save changes. And let's see what we get. I'm gonna turn editing off. And this is what it's going to look like. Just a quote off to the side. Now I might do something a little later on, by, like put a box in there or put a little picture off to the side. But right now it's very plain, just a quote with the name of the person that's giving the quote. I might be able to hit refresh and get a new one. So by hitting the refresh, I can see a new one. So every day or every so often, it will refresh the screen and show them a new glossary entry. That could also be vocabulary words for the week, spelling words, anything like that that you might want to put over there to keep in front of the kids so that they keep seeing it one more time, just something to help them remember or learn what they're doing.